today I'm going to be cooking some wild duck. I'm going to do two different recipes here. I have two variations. I have a, both these have the skin on. I love leaving the skin on my ducks, especially mallards. Um, this one is a boneless breast with a bone in um, leg attached. And then these are just skin on breasts here. So I'm going to do two different variations. One is just with uh, musket powder. That's one of my favorite wild game seasonings. I've used it on duck before. I'm using the black label. It's one of my favorite seasonings for ducks. And then on the other ones, I'm going to do just a light salt and pepper with a um, cranberry chutney. My mom actually makes homemade canned cranberry chutney. So we're going to do that for the other one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I got a sharp de facto knife here. I'm just going to score these breasts. I'm going to score the skin on these so that they don't shrivel up in the pan. And I'm using the big de facto chef's knife here. This is a super sharp knife. I love these things. I use de facto knives for everything from butchering to cooking my wild game. So now that I got these scored, um, for both of these I'm going to do just a light coat of olive oil on them. So I'm going to do one of these um, boneless breasts with the leg attached with the musket powder and I'm going to season it heavy, heavily. This is one of my favorite seasonings, I use it on everything um, and I really like it with duck because especially when you leave the skin on, when that musket powder um, crisp to the outside and then you get the crisp of the skin, it just is a super great texture, um, great flavor. It's definitely one of my favorites. And then I'm doing two of the um, just breast with musket powder as well. And then for the other ones, I'm just going to do a light salt and pepper. Alright, so now that we got the breast seasons up, I'm going to, um, I got a super hot pan here. I'm going to put a little olive oil in there and then I'm going to put these skin down first. These have been going for about three minutes on this side, so I'm going to give them a little flip. Alright, so I pulled the ones that were salt and pepper off. They got a beautiful crust to them. I'm going to um, pull those off to the side to rest, and now I'm going to put in the musket powder ones. Alright, I got these pieces of meat here. I took them off with duck. I always eat it medium rare. If you cook it any longer, it, it, it just, it's not a good idea. You want to eat duck rare, but they're just beautiful. This musket powder left a perfect crust on this. Um, so I'm going to get these sliced up. I'm going to slice them thin and then uh, serve it up uh, for my mom and dad here. Come try a bite. Tucker, get Oh, hold on. I need a way wider angle lens. Mm. Awesome. Is that a musket powder one? Mm. Which one's better? Bob's cranberry chuck. Alrighty, so these are the ducks from actually my dad's first ever duck hunt. Uh, we went out duck hunting and had a great hunt. If you haven't seen that video yet, it is on YouTube. I'll put the link in the description below. But this is a great way to make duck. I personally like the musket powder a little bit better. Dad likes the sweet with the chutney on it. What's this? I like the chutney the best, but I love musket powder. The cabal was very good too. Yeah. This is. This is a really great way to make duck. If you got a couple breasts, I like to slice them up thin like this, kind of put them on a board and do it as finger food, so. But the ones that I shot don't have the babies in these are all crunchy with steel. I'm the only one that didn't have a gun that day. Excuses. 
Very good. So yeah, if you haven't awesome. tried this, definitely try it. Um, if you haven't ordered musket powder yet, I love it on just about everything. The black label is my favorite, but they got all kinds of flavors. Definitely give it a try. I'll put a link to them in the description below too. So. I'm actually headed out to Oklahoma in a couple of weeks here on a big duck hunt, so hopefully I'll be able to bring some ducks home and uh, do this again for a couple more people.